Devri Hayamim Shani. 2 Chronicles 13. Now in the eighteenth year of King Yaravam began Aviyahu to reign over Yahuda. He reigned three years in Yerushalayim. His mother's name also was Mikayahu, the daughter of Uriel of Giva. And there was war between Aviyahu and Yaravam, and Aviyahu set eth the battle in array, with an array of valiant men of war, even four hundred thousand chosen men. Yaravam also set the battle in array against him with eight hundred thousand chosen men, being mighty men of valor. And Aviyahu stood up upon Mount Simariyam, rather, Simarayim, rather, Simarayim, which is in Mount Ephraim, and said, Hear me, Yaravam, and all Yashareel. Ought ye not to know that Yahweh Elohai of Yashareel gave the kingdom over Yashareel to David forever, even to him and to his sons by a covenant of salt? Yet Yaravam, the son of Nevat, the servant of Shalomah, the son of David, is risen up and has rebelled against his Lord. And there are gathered unto him vain men, the children of Belial, rather, Belial, and have strengthened themselves against Rechavaam, the son of Shalomah. When Rechavaam was young and tender hearted and could not withstand them, and now ye think to withstand the kingdom of Yahuwah in the hand of the sons of David, and ye be a great multitude, and there are with you golden calves, which Yadavam made you for Elohim. Have ye not cast out at the priests of Yahweh, at the sons of Aharon, and the Levim, and have made you priests after the manner of the nations of other lands, so that whosoever comes to consecrate himself with a young bullock and seven rams, the same may be a priest of them that are no Elohim. But as for us, Yahuwah is our Elohim, and we have not forsaken him, and the priests which minister unto Yahuwah are the sons of Aharon, and the Levim wait upon their business, and they burn unto Yahuwah every morning and every evening, burnt sacrifices and sweet incense. The showbread also set they in order upon the pure table, and the menorah of gold with the lamps thereof, to burn every evening. For we guard at the watch of Yahweh Eloheinu, but ye have forsaken him. And behold, Elohim himself is with us for our captain and his priests with sounding trumpets to cry alarm against you. O children of Yashadael, fight ye not against Yahweh Elohai of your fathers, for ye shall not prosper. But Yaravam caused eth an ambush to come about behind them. So they were before Yahuda, and the ambush was behind them. Rather, and the ambushment was behind them. And when Yahuda looked back, behold, the battle was before and behind. And they cried unto Yahuwah, and the priests sounded with the trumpets. Then the men of Yahuda gave a shout, and as the men of Yahuda shouted, it came to pass that Elohim smote Eth, Yaravam, and all Yashadael, 
before Avi Yahu and Yahuda. And the children of Yashadael fled before Yahuda, and Elohim delivered them into their hand. And Davi Yahu and his people slew them with a great slaughter, so there fell down slain of Yashadael five hundred thousand chosen men. Thus the children of Yashadael were brought under at that time, and the children of Yahuda prevailed because they relied upon Yahuwah Elohim of their fathers. And Aviyahu pursued after Yavaram, and took cities from him, eth Beit el with eth the towns thereof, and eth Yasinna, with the eth towns thereof, and eth Ephron, with the towns thereof. Neither did Yaravam recover strength again in the days of Aviyahu, and Yahuwah struck him, and he died. But Aviyahu waxed mightily, rather mighty, and married fourteen women, and begat twenty and two sons, and sixteen daughters. And the rest of the acts of Aviyahu, and his ways, and his sayings, are written in the story of the prophet Edo.